I've been connected with the University of Arkansas since 1999 uh, when I came to the university as the Vice Chancellor for Student Affairs and I remained in that position for 10 years until I retired on January 31st, to, uh, to 2009. I was hired by uh, Dr. John White and I came here uh, about a year after he started his tenure as chancellor at the university. And uh, quite frankly, one of the appealing features to me of coming here was uh, his vision for how he was going to move the university forward, making it a nationally recognized institution, um, and, and his whole vision for how that whole process was going to, going to move forward. Uh, we all knew uh, that in order to have the university be the kind of institution we wanted it to be, that uh, it, it had to focus on graduating its students. So getting our retention rate up was a major facet of that whole process of moving the university forward. And the Division of Student Affairs was uh, a major partner in that process. And so we looked at the ways within the division that uh, we could initiate change and work with partners across the university to create a different kind of community, a different kind of environment in which uh, our students could be successful. I grew up in the South. I, I am a Southerner. I grew up in uh, southeastern Georgia. And I grew up at a time of segregation. Uh, all of my educational experience until I went to graduate school was actually in a segregated uh, situation. So, and again, I'm a historian of African, especially of African American history, so I, I, I know the history of the struggle. I know firsthand what it means to live in a segregated society and, and what it means to be told no, that you can't be in certain places because of the color of your skin. And I know the courage of the people who went out and said this is wrong and we are going to do what we must do in order to change it. And Silas Hunt was one of those individuals. I knew nothing about Fayetteville or the University of Arkansas. And so I was very, very pleasantly surprised on my first visit to see, first of all, how pretty this area is. It really is a, a, a lovely area. I was also impressed by the warmth of the people that I met, and that sustained me over the time that I spent here in Arkansas. The people were very warm, they were very kind, they were very generous, uh, and very welcoming uh, to me and to my husband. One of the highlights uh, as it relates to uh, the whole retention effort and the graduation effort was the uh, establishment of our first year experience program. The University of Arkansas has a beautiful campus and I think it just became more so uh, with, the, with, the, with the buildings that went up, with, with the um, uh, focus on how those buildings were going to be uh, put into the, 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 the landscape of the campus. So having a, a physical um, reordering, if you will, a, a, a physical makeover of the campus with the buildings that were going up. I think it, 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 it's, it's, it's an even more beautiful campus. This was an opportunity for me coming here to implement um, a way of thinking about my work uh, in ways that I, I had not had the opportunity to implement before. I'd been a, a vice president for student affairs before coming here as vice president for student affairs at uh, Spelman College. Um, but this was a grander stage uh, and, and so the opportunity to implement concepts and ideas that I thought about for some time and, and to come to a place that was receptive to those concepts and ideas was just uh, um, very important. And so um, I had that opportunity to come uh, and as I've said I said to Dr. White on some occasions uh, I'd been preparing for this experience all of my professional life. I had been preparing to come to the University of Arkansas. I didn't know it at the time uh, but this was the place where I was destined to be uh, and this is the place where where I had a chance to grow as a professional, uh, to grow personally, um, and I will be forever grateful for having had that opportunity. I feel tremendously honored 
uh, to be included in the, the caliber of individuals who have previously been selected to, to receive the Silas Hunt Award. Uh, the company of all the terrific people who received this award the first time around is, is just a, a wonderful array of individuals who have given their time, their effort to the University of Arkansas, who, who represented this university in whatever line of work they were engaged in. And so to be included in, in that, that pool of individuals is indeed a, a great honor. Uh, and to receive an award that bears the name of Silas Hunt is a tremendous thing.